right and it's, uh, it's pretty good out here we've just got winds over 80 kilometers an hour as you can see from the uh the water's coming pretty close Tell you what, that makes a really creepy noise, eh? If you if you know the area, you know where I am. If you don't know the area, well, I'm at Port Coburn and I'm at the Welland Canal right now at one of the lift bridges. Alright, I'm sure a few of you can recognize where I am right now. I'm in Port Coburn and it's still pretty wild down uh, flashes of blue lightning, which means that the transformers are blown. There's a, quite a bit of an area of Port Coburn which is in total darkness right now. Alright, I'm down at the Peace Bridge uh, here in Fort Erie and I've come across something quite interesting. The water is really high here. It's actually come right over the wall. I'm going to show you right now whether it's going to pick it up or not. Uh, but the water's come right over the wall. This is unbelievable. It's 11.30 now and the uh, temperature's really starting to drop. Uh, when I was in Port Coburn, it was like 12 degrees. Uh, an hour later, it's now down to, I think, 6 or 5. But uh, really starting to feel it. So I'm going to have to uh, put some gloves on, I think, and a hat. Whoa! So here you have it, folks. This is uh, the Niagara River. And uh, the Niagara River's being kind of uh, a little upset right now. This is unbelievable. I hope you're enjoying this, you folks watching the video. Because um, I'm enjoying filming it, put it that way. The bright yellow hat's now gone on, so if I disappear in the wind, people can see me. Hey, not bad. Doesn't quite go with a jacket, but who cares? All right, right behind me is the Peace Bridge into uh, Buffalo, the US. Uh, the river is going so freaking fast, it's unbelievable. Um, that water's got to be moving at 30 kilometers an hour just looking at it. It is super fast. It is really, really going. Uh, my feet are soaking by the way, I just had to walk for a lot of water to get to this point. But I'm not going to go any further because that would just be stupid. So uh, I'm quite comfortable here. Uh, I did see the lights just flicker on and off on the bridge, so I don't know whether we're going to lose power here or not. It is now around about 11.45 in the evening and the worst of the weather is still to come. So this is uh, getting really interesting. I'm going to drive up a little bit as far as I can if they let me and see if I can get some more shots of the park area. So. Um, Let's carry on and make an our way around Fort Erie. Alright, I've never seen it flooded here before. I don't think someone's going to try it, but the water really is deep. Uh, I'm pulled up in my truck, which is right there. Here comes the rain again and... Uh, I'm about a foot underwater already. My feet are soaking, and this guy in the pickup truck is going to try it. I think uh, I'm going to have a little walk over there, see how far I can get. I really 
can't believe how many people are trying this. This is unbelievable. Absolutely stupid. That is my truck back over there. And when I came here like five minutes ago, I walked right, well, there was water there, but I walked right across just here. <laughs> it's all flooded. <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's gonna give me cold feet. All right, let's do this. Here it goes. You're coming with me. All right, oh shit. All right, here goes, here goes, here it goes, here goes, here goes, here goes, oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit! Oh my god, that's cold. That is cold. That is freaking freezing. Oh my god. It's getting close to one o'clock in the morning. It is freezing out here. Hang on, that hurts my arm a little bit. Oh. Ah. Alright, try this arm. Alright, and down at the old fort, the old fort in Fort Erie and uh, completely flooded behind me. Uh, if you're trying to get home tonight, there's waves going across the road <laughs> and you're not gonna get home that way, trust me. Alright, it's 1.15, uh, actually 1.15, 1.30 in the morning, still at it, um, nearly home, I'm in Crystal Beach, and um, yeah, tree down. Alright, I'm currently right outside the palm wood, and look at the destruction here in the parking lot, look at these big massive boulders everywhere. What a day, what a night. Uh, the palm wood is an absolute mess down here. It's, uh, it's it's bad. Yeah, you can probably hear the wind right now battering my truck. I hope there's no damage. It's like, I'm rocking like crazy right here. It is uh, 10 after two in the morning. I've decided I'm gonna go home, try and edit some of this stuff, and hopefully I'll wake up at like first light and see what damage there is. So I'm gonna go home, start editing this, and uh, take it from there. So uh, fingers crossed this video works out good. If you're watching this, that means the video did turn out good. So uh, don't forget guys, don't, uh, make sure you like and subscribe for more future videos, most appreciated. down at Crystal Beach, uh, just beyond uh, Erie Road there's a transformer line in the middle of the road. 
actually he's, he's right next to a pickup truck <laughs> and that's what keeps sparking but he could smell it it's like a really really good smell in the air right now um, yeah nice so anyway the police have got it blocked off right here and uh, I guess we're gonna have to wait till the emergency services come out and uh, cut the power Well, it's definitely been a busy night for the hydro company and also for the fire and police services. It's going to be a, a long morning cleaning everything up. As I was driving around uh, Crystal Beach, a lot of properties are uh, flooded. Just uh, a few blocks over there, a lot of properties. So there's going to be a lot of basements going to need cleaning out, which is a shame, really. All right, I'm going to go home, make sure my house is <laughs> fully standing and uh, the dogs are all right. And uh, we'll check everything out in the morning.